Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Game of Thrones. When we left off last time, we were... It looks like we're, we're gonna... I want the dove pie ah, served with Nira. a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the crown lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Yes, you're unhappy about flowers. Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Aha, it's here. Thank you. We'll take a quick break here. Gotta interject. It's... I, we're preparing for the wedding. We're gearing down to it. Big things happen in the wedding. And there's a big event going to happen with Tyrion eventually, too. At this point, i got to do what I can for my family. And a deal with Tyrion is really in our best interest. So I'm feeling like, screw Marjorie and whatever plans she's got. I want to hang out with Tyrion. I just... Marjorie's comment last time about, I just need you to be handmaidens, just really put me off. I. She's nice enough... For the most part, when she talks to us, but it just made it very clear to me that she does not see Sarah and I as friends, not anything approaching equals. We're, she does see us as lesser than, and we have a very specific role to play for her. We don't get to, like when I said to her, you would do the same if it were your family, and she would, but she doesn't care because she's, I'm interfering, I'm possibly interfering with her plans. So she doesn't really care about what's happening with my family. Now, I haven't asked her every time that I could have to help me out. I didn't want to press things too much, but so far it looks like she's not really in that much of a position to help me out, but Tyrion is. So I think it might be in the best interest of my family to make a deal with Tyrion for now, and even if things go badly for him later, hopefully it will be enough later that we'll still have benefited from the deal. And if Marjorie's mad, too bad for Marjorie. If she wants to send me back to Ironrath, actually, that's kind of for the best. I wouldn't mind if my family all rallies together. You, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira. A word in private, if I may. Oh, you absolutely may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen. And if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Well, too bad. Please excuse me for a moment, my lady. Deal with it, Marjorie. I promise I won't keep you long. Look, I tried before to I be loyal think Lady to her. Marjorie likes me. Although after tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. <laughs> what did you want, my lord? Oh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. All right. I've arranged for the crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. Fantastic. A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Thank you. I know the crown doesn't hold my family in high regard. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. Don't think I've forgotten your side of the arrangement. I don't. What do you need? Handmade into the new queen. You will undoubtedly prove useful. Uh, she might send me back because Enjoy of this the deal. Festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. I suppose we'll just take the chance and see how it all shakes out. Today of all days. Be as pissed as you want. You know I didn't want you talking to him. Deal with it. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Whatever. You're playing the game too, Marjorie. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. <laughs> don't get I'll upset. Deal with it's you fine. After the wedding. Go ahead. Mira, don't worry about it. Come with me, Sarah. She's being petty and spiteful. She knows we're just trying to help our family. So, whatever. Done with you, Marjorie. Oh, back to Garrett. Garrett. Easy now. Garrett. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. Yep. What did he want? Okay. Truth. Give Not me the many option. people pass through here. Have you ever heard of the North Grove? He came to ask about it. Is that so? Old Nan used to tell us a tale about ice dragons and trees as tall as the sky. Garrod, you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. I will, but uh, I'd like you to have this map. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend if it came to it. And you were in trouble north of the wall. Any of them you'd trust by your side. 
You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Well... Well, I know I can count on you, John. I'm flattered. But our paths may not always cross. You'll need allies beside you. I can probably count Herald on Potter Holt and Finn. of White Harbor, Corliss Wells from Stony Sept. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. Really? It can't be. House Whitehill. This one's the Boltons. There'll be a hot meal in the mess hall. After that, we'll be sorting out gear at the armory. Mm. Gary, what's the matter? You know him? Yeah, I do. Come on, get moving. That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the maester. Don't do something you'll regret. Uh, I won't. I gotta hold to my vows. Night's Watch. Gotta let it all go. If it isn't the fucking pig bomber. Don't come talk to me. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the war for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. You're lucky I didn't kill you. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Welcome to the wall, brother. Looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. Try it. Try anything. We're not going to pick a fight with him. But if he tries to bring a fight to us, oh yeah. This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. Eh. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you. I made a deal it never should have Jeez. affected me like this. You just don't get it, Sarah. I've been fighting for my family's lives here. And what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved them. Whether you have a seat at the wedding just isn't as important. I, I didn't mean to be snippy to her, but yeah. I, I hope it was worth it. Because you don't know how furious Marjorie is. No, I have you. an idea. I just don't care. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. That's <gasps> fine. Don't worry, Mira. I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. Tell me who it is. Why? What are you going to do to her? Nothing. Sarah! I'm just curious. It Jeez. doesn't matter. It was just names. Don't this worry about, about it, Mira. It's funny how things change, isn't it? It must be hard for you not to be the favorite anymore. Ah, and now it's coming out. This is what I always thought with Sarah. She, there was something about her all along that made me think I probably shouldn't entrust her too much with any secrets. She's, she entrusted us and I'm up for helping her, but she, just like Marjorie, she's in it for herself. She doesn't really care. It, it, all the crap before about, oh, we're friends. Not really. Neither of those two ladies care about Nira. Not when it comes down to it. Sarah? Look, it wasn't too long ago I was asking for your help with Marjorie. And you were there for me. Yes, I was. Maybe now I'm in a position to help you. You just need to ask. All right. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. I don't I think so, you. but go Thank ahead. Thank you, Sarah. I could really use a hand right now. I don't want to do this all alone. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. All right, as long I'm as she's letting not her send you home. holding it over me like I owe her for this. If she wants to try and help as a friend oh, or whatever, no. okay. They're already serving the pie. Oi. We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. I'm the Queen's handmaiden. Back off. Oh, Before he be... disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. Don't freak out, Mira. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. So what if I was with him? Uh, seven hells. <sighs> you there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. Uh -uh. I'm not finished Are with you her. you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job.
intimidating or not, I'm from a noble house. He's just a guard. Back off, guy. Good thing that other guy stepped in, though. That helps. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. Well, thank you. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. That was kind of you. I do appreciate it. Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Oh, well. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Uh oh. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I know. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or, perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest Ironwood. Very observant. You are no mere handmaid. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. Yeah, but that includes you, you too, more sorry. Than anything is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? And what exactly are the terms of this offer? What do you get out of it? Yeah. A smart question. It's never something for so, nothing. Let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of ironwood together. We could get very, very rich together. Hmm. Or should I go back to Lord Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in it? No. Oh, here we go. No, come back here. Finish up our deal. Oh, shoot. I didn't remember how soon they were going to confiscate Tyrion. Okay, so this messes us up possibly right now. I was thinking I had a, a short amount of time for some reason. What happened? Um, it's been a while since I read the books. I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Crap. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh, no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what can we do? What a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. Ah. You understand? No. Lady Mira. We're gonna make it happen. I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task, especially now. Well, we gotta make it happen. If it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. All right, we gotta find our coal boyfriend. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. This is why I knew it was really, really dicey to try and strike an alliance with Tyrion. Because I wasn't sure the timing, how soon it would come back on me. I was hoping I'd have more time and that we'd be able to move things a little faster, get the Ironwood transaction in place, and then when everything went down and, and the odds were going against Tyrion, it wouldn't affect us as much because it was already said and done. Um, but now it's not, so this is potentially quite a problem. I maybe should have refused to meet with him. And stayed on Marjorie's good side, but you know, these are the choices I made. So we're gonna just try to make the most of it. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can find our coal boy and enlist him to help us get the decree. You're looking for the coal boy, right, Mira? Because that's the best plan. We're gonna do it ourselves. It's locked. I'm not getting in this way. Okay, here we go. Tom! What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom, I'm in trouble. There's 
Something inside I need to get. Tell him what it is. He'll get if it. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. So what do we do? <sighs> I have an idea. The terrace. All right. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know where. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? Um... It's not just kings sorry. who die stupidly around here. Tom, I really need your help here. I can't do this alone. Just be careful. Wait here. Oh, I really hope nothing bad I'll be happens. At the door before you know it. This is risky, especially because those guards saw us running off, so they might be following. Yep, there they are. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. I work for Lady Marjorie, Queen Marjorie. She asked me to wait here. Somehow, I find that hard to believe. Who are you to question I'm me? I'm not going to ask you again. I command you to open this door at once, in the name of the king! Don't do it, don't do it. You, don't move. Tom, it's me, hurry! Alright, grab oh, it and go. close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Some tiles on the roof came loose. Almost lost my footing. Thank you, Tom. I could never have done this without you. Now let's get moving. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. Yeah, get to it. I'll keep watch outside the door. I don't Tom. know if Tom can read or not, so he you might not be able this. to help us. Come on, Mira. All right, where do we think it is? He said something about the desk, right? He said right? that it would be on his desk. Nothing. Just a letter from Tywin Lannister. Okay. Is this it? Oh, oh, another bloody letter. Don't be in the strong box. Tyrion's strong box. What oh, must be in here? <gasps> I think the Lannister guard is back. Lock the door. No, it's the other one. Damn it. Hide. I'll find a way to distract them. Hide where? Oh my gosh. Stuck. I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after, now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lock boxes, eh? <laughs> Aye. All right. Tom can distract him. We gotta grab those keys. Help! Fire! What the hell? Damn it! Come on! All right, get moving, Mira. <sighs> you did it. How? It's, this is there isn't time. Just go down the hall. I'll put you a minute, maybe two. Stop wasting oh, it. Let's get you. moving. Did you find it? Oh my gosh, you guys, come on! I think it has to be in here. It has to be. Ah. No, no, no. Just hurry. Just keep going. Next. Oh, come well, on. third time's the charm, then. Let's do it. <gasps> it worked. Is this? Oh, thank the gods. Now I go. Found it. Finally. Let's go. <coughs> Fine. Catch the bastard who... Oh, bring their bloody neck. All right. Oh, things might be okay. Disappointed that the deal didn't work out with Tyrion, but we can still salvage things. We're not far now. Ooh, Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. What is this? Our ironwood trees. What? It's the Whitehills. You see what they've done? Uh. This track was hundreds of years old. We've no time to waste. 
We must take back what's ours before all the ironwood is gone. They'll ruin both our houses. Aye. The White Hills need to answer for this. And Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious, my lord. Well, why don't you come too and help keep lookout? She go around her father to help us. She must have some purpose. She's taken a risk in meeting me. Let me hear what she has to say before I judge her reasons. Of course. Just be wary. I am wary, Duncan. I get it. You see what her family's done here. Yeah, but let's listen to what she has to say. She is not her family, necessarily. Here. You might want this. I'm not gonna stab her. You may have known each other since you were children, but this could be a trap. <sighs> it could be. Hopefully doesn't having the dagger here. doesn't ruin anything. Go on. I'll stay with the horse. It makes sense to be armed just in case, but I do not intend to hurt her. This is old Red Rob's farm. I used to play here when I was young. What's happened to them? It's not enough to take our wood. We must defile our homes. And what a waste this is, too. Oh, don't go to the door yet, actually. Look at this stuff over here. Damned white hills. Cutting down everything they see. Do they understand nothing about ironwood? They really don't. We already learned that they lost all of their groves, managing them poorly. Split beams, cracked wheels, shoddy workmanship. Clearly white seal. This well. I remember hiding down there. Playing monsters and maidens with little name and uh, Megan. <laughs> All right, over to the grindstone. Hmm, I can still smell the sawdust. <laughs> Hear the whining of the grindstone. Such a thought of my early years. So long ago. Anything else to investigate outside? Here we go. I see you haven't lost your warrior's ways. That's good. I wouldn't want to deal with someone careless. Hello, Gwyn. Roderick. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? Yep. There's no way to miss it. And he won't stop. Soon, there will be nothing left to save. I hope you come with help, Gwyn. And I hope you'll listen to me. I come as a friend. All right. <sighs> I wasn't sure you were even going to show. Well, I'm here, so what have you got? We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Thank you for paying respects to my father and brother. And for coming tonight. It's good to see you again. And you too, Roderick. I think we can help each other. All right, what have but you got? First, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Yes. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. If you must know, he's bringing us an army. You may think that's going to help your family. But it will only lead to more killing. Well, what do you propose I we do instead, then, eh? I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Is that what you want to? Oh crap! I need to hear you. It is. It. Oh, oh. Is she gonna propose marriage? I'll have to. It makes the most sense. It would bring the peace that we need. But then, oh, it might be really bad with Asher when he gets here. But it, she's gonna, isn't she? I'm the lord of the house, so it wouldn't be enough to, for her to marry Asher. She's got to marry the lord of the house. 
Uh, I think that's what's coming. We're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to do it. Say it, Roderick. Will you work with me? Yes. Peace means my family will be safe. Of course that's what I want. The years have blessed you with wisdom, Roderick. And it is good you have it. Because peace is the only hope your family has. That's the only my hope your family has, too. My for an excuse to attack. We'll give Why as do you good think as we he get? sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless... You let Griff feel like he's in control. No. I know you refuse to kiss my father's ring, but you would be wise to show more respect to Griff. No. Nope. I'm not afraid of some petulant fourthborn. You should be, because there's a very dangerous fourthborn in your house right now. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. What's that about? Seven hells. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Then we've no time to waste. Let's get on with it. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. What the hell is your father planning? I swear I don't know. But whatever it is, he knows all your weaknesses. All your plans. Hmm. What? How? A traitor in the house. Because you have a traitor in your council. Duncan. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. You must tell me. Who is it? I don't know. We know you're planning to rescue Ryan. Even if it means abandoning your home to Griff. Ah. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace between our families... It's the only way. Ugh. All right. You if we have, have a traitor, then we have to. I'll do my part. Thank you. I I think she's being honest with me. My lord, those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. I know. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. All right. We're gonna have lord. to reevaluate our game plan. Because certain things are, are falling Come through. Come along, Duncan. As I thought they could. So we're going to have to be a little nicer to Griff for at least a bit. All right. And we just got an auto save. So I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. I, I still think it could potentially be useful to arrange some sort of alliance through marriage with Gwyn. Ideally, I'd like to see her married to Asher, but if it has to be Roderick, it could be Roderick. That could be a way to try to bring peace to our houses if we could get anyone to agree to it. We'll see how it all goes.